Hi, it's Martin here from Fanta Tracks. Um, just before we show this video, just a quick note to say, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, really helps us as we see the numbers going up. Very motivating. So thanks to all those that have done it. And all, if you haven't, why haven't you done it yet? Okay, so today's video is the second of three that we've done with details recently. Um, I'll put a little link to the first one, which is where D saw his Lego uh, figure of K. Tolsite, who he played in Solo, the um, a Star Wars story. Uh, for part of the Pike Syndicate, I believe, in Kessel. Uh, so he was pretty made up about that. But we've known D for quite a while, and uh, he's always shared with us privately that uh, his dreams will have come true when he's a, a Hasbro figure, a 3.75 for Black Series. So uh, watch this video to see if his dreams do come true. They do. Right. Hello, it's Martin here from Fanther Tracks. Hey! Here with details. In the, in the house, I can say in the house. In the we're, in the, we're, we're, we're out, we're in the park. We're in park. We're nice summer stroll in the park. In <laughs> so, last time you saw D on the channel, he saw the Lego figure of himself, which you were very excited about. Yes, yes. But, something slightly <laughs> more, oh look at, look at his face already. Something slightly more exciting is happening today. So let me just do it down here, and I shall back out here and say D. I have in my hand a box. There we go. Let's. I'm gonna actually gonna turn this around, D, and go behind now. Du, du, du. Right. We're going back. So D's got a box. Is the best figure in the world for you, there, D? <laughs> Tell everyone what it is. <laughs> it's, it's Zubio. It's Zubio. Oh, you lucky man, D. <laughs> Is that the figure you've been waiting for all your life, is it, D? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, oh. Kidding, no the disappointment. Well, <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> but, but D, there, oh. is, there, is, there is something else in the box for okay. you. Okay, all right, let me put that there. And this, I'm just going to look at his face now. D. Oh. <laughs> What's that then? Look at these bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through what you can see. This is um, me. <laughs> it's you. Oh my god. You're a Hasbro figure, D. <laughs> I think he's slightly lost for words at this moment in time. <laughs> so we'll have a look at the figure in a second, but I just want to get D's reaction. So, did you ever think there would be a day? <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. No. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Thank you. No problem at all. Thank you. Um, D, I know you've been collecting since they came out. It's it's really really it's really really weird. It's um we live in a day where where movies are being made and there's franchises left, right, and centre. And everybody just seems to be like, oh, well, it's expected to have a figure. I never in a million years thought I'd ever have a figure, um, let alone one that says these two words on it. <laughs> you know? Um, and it's I, you. Have, I have these figures at I have figures like this at home. I bought a Falcon. A vintage Falcon. He can fit in the vintage Falcon. I can fit in the Falcon. <laughs> but um, no, it's it, to be look. It's a, it's it's something that I can't. I'll, I'll never take this for granted. This will always be so precious <laughs> to me. It's um, it's a part. Of, it's a part of my childhood that I never thought was ever going to be part of my childhood. I, it wasn't an expectation. I thought, okay, let's get into acting. Let's do some movies. Let's, maybe if there's Star Wars. Maybe if there's an action film. Something. Well, fine, great. Never, never stop to think about um, owning a figure of myself. It's um, and that's me, and, and that's and that's me. Do that's me in the studio. And took a picture. <laughs> it's just like, and look on the back. Look, look. Um, saying all about you. Oh, look, it's holding the keys the way that I hold, held my keys. He doesn't seem to be suffering from the weight of the clothing the way I was suffering. 
but no, this is absolutely amazing. This is um, <laughs> this is my first toy. So. <laughs> and listen, you know what? And and what else? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You see that? You see that? Yeah. I'm more concerned about that than I am about that. <laughs> what does that? What the hell does that tell you? It's just um. So there you go, a happy man. Um, so it was lovely doing that video, and it's so nice because Dee's such a great bloke. Uh, so it's nice, so nice to be there when he saw his figure his first time. So there's one more D video to come. So subscribe, and then you'll get notification as to when it comes up. It should be in about a week's time, and this will be if you're aware that his character basically was taken out by uh, Kira in Solo. And she said that she was fully trained in Terra Cassie, which, for those of you of my age, remember there was a Star Wars Masters of Terra Cassie PlayStation game. Um, D was challenged to redeem himself at London Film and Comic Con by Matt Booker, and that challenge was accepted, and it took place at Farthest From. So uh, next Wednesday, I think it will be, if you uh, tune in, you'll be able to see whether D was a master who got beaten by Kira, or whether anyone like Matt Booker could beat him. Anyway, thanks for subscribing, and uh, see you soon.